you can get this signed poster by Rob Machado. Hey guys, this is Droob Tube. I'm going to be going over my quiver, so my surfing quiver between bodyboards and surfboards and talking to you about which ones I like and how I started bodyboarding. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit longer of a video, just me talking and maybe a little bit of cuts of surfing. Um, and there's going to be a couple jokes as well, so <laughs> be ready for that. And so first off, I just want to start, I've been bodyboarding for about seven years since, since 2000 and. 10 and I've been surfing since 2017. Just going to go over a little bit of my quiver. So the types of surfboards I use and I'm going to talk a little bit about them and why I ride them. And um, yeah, enjoy. So this is my first bodyboard ever. It's a Tubes Customs board and I, it was given to me by a person down at Black's Beach in San Diego. And it was given to me by a South African bodyboarder named Timmy, or Tim. He used to ride for a company called RXYM. That's their logo. And he has really cool grips right here on the bodyboard. I've never seen that before, but it was super awesome getting to ride this for my first real board. I used to ride this like Costco cheap crappy board, but now I leveled up to this sweet board. And I rode this for about a year until it was my birthday and I was given my my current bodyboard the it's a versus a Ryan Hardy edition you can see that right there and uh, this board has proven so well it's got this really cool sponginess on the back see this like texture it's kind of squishy so if you can see me uh, pressing down on it it's really spongy so you hit the lip you can really hit the lip and go flying like and then it's also pretty smooth so you can do like 360s and and whatnot and my board looks so dirty because all the wax I've tried and all the wax I've used and yeah that's a shoe late that's a shoelace tying together my leash and board. Not too high tech, but hey, surfing's fun, so you gotta make do with what you have. And uh, I've been riding this one ever since. As you can see, there's some uh, creases, meaning I've broken this board. So I've been riding on a broken board for the past, I think there's three, look at those. Woo! Um, I've been riding on this board for, wow, there's even a crease down the middle. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I think I've broken the stringer, as you can see. Uh, but this board has proven well, and I'm still going to continue to ride it. It's really good. The next board, this is the uh, this is the little body. This is the bodyboard company that sponsored me. So it's a cool wooden design bodyboard, and it has two channels right on the bottom to get some speed. It's a bat tail, and um, they're fun little boards. I, I have a cool video about it and uh, just to explain a little bit, the sponsors, it's just someone who supports me in my surfing and, uh, and helping me grow in the sport and learn and, and anyone who mentors me. Uh, it's not all about money for me. I do it just because I love it and I live in such a beautiful place. San Diego, California. This little, this sweet little bodyboard was given to me by Custom X. I went and got a little tour of their facility and I got to see how they make bodyboards. And here's like the little contour for a little But yeah, you just ride little waves with this thing and it's just so fun to get tucked into these little barrels. And it's just a sun, such a fun little board. And of course, I put wax on it to stay on the board. Um, if you bodyboard and you don't use wax, you're going to slip off. So, I mean, it's just an advantage to use wax on your bodyboards. My advice. And before I get to the surfboards, here's the joke time. You ready? How many bunches of bananas 
is a bunch. A bunch! And now up next I want to go over the surfboards that I have. This one and that one. So this one is uh, it's a six foot one surfboard. There's the length of it. It's a thruster. And I've got a cool logo of a banana bread on it. You might be able to see it better if I do it like this. <laughs> so I painted that myself. Um, if you wonder how to surf or, I mean, if you wonder how surfers paint on their boards, they use uh, something called Posca pen. They come and I dropped them all. They look like this. This surfboard was my first surfboard ever. Um, first time I ever tried standing like on a short board and actually tried to go out in the water. So this is what really taught me how to surf, how to learn. Um, I'm definitely no pro. I'm no pro. I'm no pro. And yeah, this board will treat me well. I still have it. Thank you to my brother for getting this board for me. And then finally we have my Degree 33 surfboard. See the resemblance? They are a great company just based right here in San Diego, California. And they make great boards. They make them all by hand. And this one's a thruster. It's 511. And um, this one is custom made for me. And it, it also has a banana bread. But I think you'll laugh at the name of it. It's called the Banana Bread Fred. Check out that board. And there's the dimensions and Bill Menard shapes them right here in local San Diego. Pretty made for shredding. I'm no shredder yet, but I'm gonna keep learning and growing. Big thanks to Degree 33 Surfboards for this such a good board. And the type of wetsuit I use is it's an Excel um, Infinity Comp. Uh, it's one of the custom editions that have like a cool design on them. You've probably seen some of these in my videos, but it's a wetsuit with cool decals on the sides. But yeah, I mean a wetsuit's a wetsuit. And I also, I film a lot of my surfing with the GoPro in my mouth. It lo I look a lot like, like that when I surf. So I use that to film all my surfing and bodyboarding. And uh, it's got a little neck lanyard, so just in case I drop it. Like, did a huge air. Oh, oh, I dropped it. Oh, I still have it around my neck. Uh, lastly, I actually had a little giveaway because I got to meet a professional surfer named Rob Machado. I've been doing uh, Hurley Surf Club events, and he was one of the special guests. And he signed a poster for me, and I had him write it to my subscribers. And so I have a little giveaway of a poster that he signed for you guys and I'll share a little clip of him saying thank you for watching. I'm Rob Machado. Thanks for watching Drew too. <laughs> Thanks. And I also thank you for watching. So here's the poster. All you have to do is just comment and then like the video and um, you'll be entered into the giveaway. I'll be giving this away uh, next week on the 27th of June. So if you enter before the 27th of June, then you can... Phew. Thank you for watching, guys, and remember, get tubed! Phew.